Hi everybody and welcome to our PSA July newsletter. Hope you're going to enjoy it. There's lots of stuff in here. Who can believe that half the year is gone already? Well, you know, we've done a lot in 2020 already. It feels like a year, I suppose, in the last six months. But we've got through that first half. Let's look at the next half and sort of focus on what we're going to do between now and December. One of the things that we're going to continue to do is the national events. And thanks very much for everybody for making those so successful over the past three or four months. So this particular one, July the 14th at 12 p.m. is our next national event. We're going to have Pamela Wigglesworth, CSP. She's going to be joining us from Singapore. Sell the problem, be the solution. Dave Staunton, uh, CSP. Wonderful Dave is going to be joining us. Big Dave, SEO content ideas for speakers to get more traffic and more inquiries. If there's never been a better time to have Dave share with us his insights on how we can grow our business then now is that time. John Yo and Donna Hansen, CSP, are gonna be joining me for an expert panel. It's gonna be a really exciting panel this time as well. And we'll, we'll love to have your questions and input and engagement with this. We're gonna be discussing the virtual experience design. Um, sharing with you some of the successes that people have been having, especially John in Melbourne uh, with the TEDx events on, on how they've transformed into more virtual um, experiences. July the 21st at 12 p.m. we have our next Speaking for a Crisis. That's the initiative we started back in uh, March at the back end of, uh, of course, our convention in Adelaide. It's free to all members. Um, this particular month for July, we're doing dynamic slide design. So how to make your slide presentations even more dynamic and engaging. That's with Chris Cook from US, and that's hosted by Steve Simpson, CSP. So thanks, Steve, for bringing that one in. The top five attention-grabbing reputation building fee increasing graphic tips. It doesn't get any better than that. And then finally for our CSPs, our wonderful CSP community, we have the Platform Professional Summit. Now we have gone virtual, so you'll have to uh, enjoy that, but I think it's gonna be awesome anyway. So our virtual experience of Platform Professionals is on August the 13th. Um, it's a half day, it's online. Speaking in the decade of disruption is the topic. We're gonna to look at the outlook, external mechanics, promotion, and internal mechanics. So uh, that's going to be exciting, but I will say as well that we're planning an awesome platform professionals retreat for later in the year. So around kind of November time, more information about that soon. The chapter hubs are continuing to grow. Um, WA this month is going face to face. Yes, we're going back to having a physical chapter hug in WA um, with others to follow planning for August. Um, we're going to kind of do a month on month off. So one month is going to be virtual and one month is going to be face to face so that you still can attend on the virtual ones, those that you normally wouldn't get to go to. So share the community across, of course, the country, but then the face to face community ones are coming back. So looking forward to that. Finally, we had our brand strategy day. So once, once, a, once a year, we do our strategy day. So the board got together, deep dived into kind of focusing on, you know, where we want to be now and in the future. Um, an interesting thing is that we, we actually firstly identified the brand, like who are we and what we are, just really re-emphasizing the fact that we are the peak body for professional speakers, helping to grow their businesses and also develop their craft. And really focusing on that's our core and that's what we need to continue as a brand. We also looked an interesting kind of um, uh, concept that we did, a pre-post-mortem for PSA, what it would look like in 2023. We broke into two different groups. One was a worst case scenario. What if we didn't do the things we did and PSA was in a terrible shape in 2023? And what if it was really good? You know, the, the best case scenario. And then bringing that all together, it helped us form a three-year plan to make sure that we miss any pitfalls, but we also take on any opportunities. So that's our three-year plan in focus. And then we took that into a 12-month focus and each of our board members now has portfolios. And in those portfolios is gonna be the rock that they wanna work on, that they wanna to achieve towards that 12 month and three year plan, um, and then develop a 90 day action plan. So a lot of stuff came out, a lot of actions came out. I'll be sharing more with you over coming months about how we're going with our rocks and heading towards our 12 month goal. But that's about it, a packed newsletter. More you can see inside this newsletter. Stay safe, stay positive, and hope you enjoy our July newsletter. Thank you.